Hi, Open Spokers. Um, so I've been missing everybody and missing out, but I noticed that both Sherry and Susan have recently brought up the topic of gratitude. And so I thought, hey, what a perfect topic for me to uh, jump back on board with because believe me, I am very grateful to the open spokes for always helping me and providing me with some really practical professional guidance and advice um, to help me through everyday struggles with my career and my experiences. So I just, I wanted to say thank you. Um, so just to give you a little bit of an update, I've now been, today is December 1st. So I moved to Japan on July 30th. So I have had all of August, all of September, four full months here in Japan. And um, life is life is good and life is great it's getting a little bit cold but um i don't know if you remember but way back when i started i was like oh my gosh what am i going to do how am i going to teach here how am i going to work here how am i going to understand everything's different than what i i am coming from like i don't think this is going to work i don't know how this <laughs> anyways so now, four months later, um, well, <clears throat> so at the beginning, I was feeling a little bit lost and lonely, and I reached out to my open spokers, and I said, hey, you know, what <laughs> is going on? What should I do? And um, I got some fabulous advice from some very good friends I had. I had, you know, uh, Brendan telling me that, yeah, don't worry. He heard that Japanese culture is sort of like, you know, if you stick out, they pound you down till you're all the same. And so what I was, what I was experiencing was normal. And I had um, Sherry giving me some advice about, well, figure out what they want first and then do little bits by little bits. And I had Susan saying, basically, everything you do is great. You're, I'm so proud of you. So I had my various champions uh, from around the world. And um, I had, you know, even Brendan sending out questions saying, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And so, um, even though I'm here in Japan and I'm on a totally different time schedule than everybody else that I know in a totally different place, I, I really am grateful for and I'd like to send out my appreciation to all my colleagues back in Canada and America who are still connecting with me and still making me feel included and still letting me know what's going on in their worlds, even though I can't always make it to every Google Hangout or tweet chat or post at MOOC meeting. Um, so, um, and just, so I'd like to say thank you for, to everyone for being understanding of my situation and where I'm at. I also, um, Lena is showing everyone all the kindergarten homework she has done, Canadian kindergarten homework she has done in Japan when we're not um, exploring. And, you know, it's pretty cool, actually, some of the differences over here. Um, but I just, I, I really wanted to say thank you to um, my community for, for keeping me included um, even during times when perhaps I'm on a totally different time schedule. Um, and just to give you a little bit of an update um, and a little bit of hope for people, 
at the beginning, way back on July 30th, I posted saying, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I, you know, this is, I don't know if I can do this. This is scary. And now, four months later, I mean, my adult English classes, one of my favorite things to do um, here, it's pretty cool. I, I just, I sort of took everybody's practical advice of be yourself, check in with them and see what they want, and used it all, stirred the pot, and we've had this amazing adult class. I mean, last week we were talking about, re like, how to explain getting a renovation done at home in English. So they're willing to ask questions. I'm willing to answer questions. It is totally authentic, and it's totally student-centered. And it sort of shows me that... <clears throat> Even though it started out different than what student-centered looks like in Calgary, if I can keep in touch with my students and if I can respect their culture and their boundaries, but push them just that little bit and push them that little bit and give them permission to make mistakes and give them permission not to be perfect. One of the things I've learned here in Japan is how important it is to allow our students the opportunity to, as Kirsten taught me way back last spring, thank you, Kirsten, um, the power of the mistake and how the way we react to student mistakes can really make a big difference. So anyways, I wanted to say thank you to my open spokes for both including me even during times when I'm not the most engaged member you've ever had for being available with practical, thoughtful advice and for helping me feel connected even on the other side of the world. Very, very 